Countless champions have been crowned throughout the history of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! But what about the underdogs, the dark horses, the decks that upon first glance make you question everything you thought you knew about the game? In this series, both MBT and myself will be showcasing some of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s wackiest unsung heroes. Each episode will feature new decks, new strategies, and the results will be unpredictable. You've seen the history of Yu-Gi-Oh!, but this is the history of Jank. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Yeah. Yeah. I think I looked better last time I was in the loser's circle. Too many weeks of winning have left me soft and flabby. Ah, oh well. No better time to start pumping iron than now, and no better time to start pumping my win rate than with this deck. Now, before we talk about this, I want to talk a little bit about the state of Yu-Gi-Oh! Now, Reaper format is a fan-favorite format in the modern era, but historically, there wasn't a lot that was playable. It was mostly people playing monarch-oriented strategies or trying to engineer the next GOAT deck by using the cards in the deck that were still legal. And after Reaper format ended, after the release of Shadows of Infinity, that continued. People weren't particularly interested in uh, reinventing the wheel, they just wanted to perfect existing GOAT strategies. This led to a general boredom with Yu-Gi-Oh! For the first couple of packs of GX, there was nothing particularly meta-warping released, and for that reason, most decks basically resembled how they had looked for the last couple of years. This led to a phenomenon called Cookie Cutter, in which many duelists felt there was a package of 25 to 30 cards that would be included in your deck no matter what, a cookie cutter list you could just plug and play with whatever supplementary engine you felt was good. This led to fatigue in Yu-Gi-Oh! and is a lot of the reason that archetypes persist today. You could expect to play a completely different deck than your own, provided you were on different archetypes, not something that could be guaranteed if you were playing around 2006. So while this deck by Roy St. Clair is a different deck than everything else in the format, it still shares about 20 cards with all of those. This is Deck Devastation Virus. Now, Deck Devastation Virus is a trap card with a very powerful effect. Allows you to tribute a dark monster with 2,000 or more attack, look at your opponent's hand, and all monsters they control, and all cards they draw until the end of the third turn after this card's activation, and destroy those monsters with 1,500 or less attack. Outside of that, it is playing a very normal series of monsters, basically one of of all the really powerful limited guys, strong stuff like Spirit Reaper and Magician of Faith as well, and Zone. Zombira the Dark and Gold, Woo Lord of Dark World, two cards that fulfill this condition. Now this list is reported three places. Metagame.com, TCG Player Infinite, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Top Decks. Yu-Gi-Oh! Top Decks has a very, very frustratingly bad interface, and as a result, many old decks have individual cards missing. This one has two. The TCG Player Infinite upload for this deck is clearly just a rip off of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Top Decks one, and as a result is also a 38-card list, and the metagame link has expired. It has also not been archived effectively on the Wayback Machine, so I have no idea what Roy St. Clair was playing in the last two slots. I've elected to play the additional copies of Magical Merchant because they make finding Deck Devastation Virus a little more likely. Let me walk you through the individual cards. We've got Breaker, Chaos Sorcerer, DD Warrior Lady, Double Deslacuda, you gotta draw cards somehow, Double Gold, 1 plus 2 Magical Merchant, Double Magician of Faith, Double Mobius, Sangan, Double Spear Reaper, 1 Strike Ninja, 1 Tsukiyomi, 3 Zombira, Charity, Heavy Storm Nobleman, Pot of Avarice, Premature Burial, Triple Smashing Ground, Snatch Steel, 2 Bottomless, 2 Deck Dev, a Mirror Force, Double Sakuretsu, 1 Torrential, 1 Trap Hole, and you know, we'll see. In the side we've got Ceasefire, Double Curse Seal, Hallowed Life Barrier, Jinzo, Karibo, Mobius the Frost Monarch, Mystic Swordsman, Level 2, Stealth Bird, this wins uh, slow matches in which you have to be the burn win condition, triple Waboku, and double wave motion cannon for the same reason. So, let's see what we can do. You know, there's just something about seeing Cyberstein, Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu, Peyton the Dark Clown, and Draining Shield in a deck that just gets me excited for another episode of the History of Jank. Who comes up with this shit? And I think the best part about this deck specifically, this is a first place 
Faro Tour Italy winning deck list that we are looking at. This isn't something that someone just brought to a local and did like moderately well with. No, this won like one of the most prestigious Italian tournaments in 2006. I just can't believe this. I can't fucking believe this. And I am so excited that I get to play this for this week's episode. Joseph's going to be playing some Zombira deck devastation virus nonsense. Boring. We're going to be playing one of just the cream of the crop when it comes to jank experiences. So let's go ahead and do the card by card. Uh, so we've got a cyber jar here. Obviously getting anything off of this is fine. And just getting us a cyber sign is all we need. Cyber signs, the heart and soul of the deck though. Now you may notice that other decks may incorporate other cards like last will to get to cyber stein. No cyber stein is basically like the main win condition here. And like, there's no backup plan. The backup plan is like mystic tomato beat down if things don't go well. So we have to just get to this and hope that we can not only resolve it once, but that we can resolve it twice. Cause we are playing cards that do supplement that strategy. Two copies of Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu on flip. You add an equip spell to hand. We get Megamorph, throw it onto our Cyber Twin Dragon, and that will be game just by itself. So I'm really hoping we can do that. Magician of Faith, Morphing Jar, three copies of Mystic Tomato. This gets us in the Stein, so that seems pretty good. And three copies of Peyton the Dark Clown. If we can't kill them, we stall out till we get to Stein, and then we hopefully can. We've also got a Sangen rounding out the monsters. For the spells, Dark Hole, Triple True Nate, and a Heavy Storm. Of course, once we actually get to our combo, we're going to True Nate everything back and just go for it. Two copies of level limit area B, slow the game down a bit, a lightning vortex and a limiter removal, because guess what? These monsters are also machines, so we can use this as a fourth copy of Megamorph that we can't search, but it's still good enough. Two messenger of peace to make it so that we can keep stalling out. Monsters with 1500 or more attack cannot declare an attack. Three copies of Poison of the Old Man. So when I first saw this, I thought that this was like a Bernstein list, which some of these were popular around this time. This is the exact opposite. I actually realized the purpose of this card, as well as Draining Shield, is to get your life points back so you can Stein a second time. Remember, once you Stein, you're at 3k life, you only need 2,000 life to be able to get back, I guess 2,100 technically, if you don't want to kill yourself. You need to be 2,100 life up over the original Stein activation in order to actually fire it again. And so one Draining Shield, maybe in Poison of the Old Man or two thrown in there as well. I guess this also can just straight up kill Joseph too, so that'd be pretty funny. And then we've got a Premature Scapegoat and a Swords rounding out the spells. Three Draining Shield, it kind of negates attacks and gives us life points, so that's cool. And two copies of Gravity Bind for the same purpose as level limit. Funny enough, when I was looking at this deck, there wasn't actually an extra deck to accompany it, so I stole this extra deck from another deck that was like a Stein burn list. Realistically, we just need Cyber Twin and Cyber End. Like, these are the only two cards that matter because these are going to win us the game. And then the side deck. If there wasn't enough jank already... Two copies of Big Eye, and this is not a joke unless this article is just completely inaccurate. Flip it up, look at the top five cards of your deck, place them on the top of your deck in any order. This is like the OG Pot of Prosperity. You can go five deep, find yourself Stein, put it on the top of your deck, and then draw it for your draw phase, because most likely this will get hit by your opponent as a set. Wild absolutely wild. Remember, this deck got first place, so maybe there's actually some validity to this. I kind of don't hate it, if I'm being honest, but it's I hate that it works, and I hate that we actually have to play this card. This may be the only time this card was ever played in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! Card Destruction, MST, Nobleman of Crossout, and Double Extermination. We've got three Wave Motion Cannon. We can side into a more traditional burn style of deck here, as well as a Secret Barrel. We have a Self-Destruct button, which we could also side in if we want to just have some fun, and let's be honest, it's History of Jank, so we're going to. A Torrential Tribute, and two copies of Waboku. I don't know what to say. Uh, this, <laughs> this is going to be a fucking disaster of an episode. If we can Stein twice in one game, I think we'll have achieved what this deck was trying to do. Maybe I'm just... The fact that it just looks jank, maybe I'm just underestimating how good this deck is. Remember, this deck won one of the most prestigious Italian tournaments in 2006, so looks can be deceiving. I don't know what else to say. This is just a nightmare, and I can't wait to see how it plays out. So ladies and gentlemen, it's time to duel. Joseph, this episode's going to be a disaster. Oh my God. I, I don't know what we were thinking with this one, buddy. Uh, I also don't know what I was thinking, letting you play the deck devastation virus deck against like my stall deck trying to get to Cyberstein when you basically just have your auto win that beats my auto win. So yeah, this is going to be a weird one. <laughs> what's your what's your problem? I don't I don't understand what the issue is. Uh, yeah, I think we're both playing decks that are equally competent and I... Uh, I think the better player will win.
Of course you do. Of course. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, though. Uh, we'll see. This is history of jank, right? This is the place where we play the best of the best when it comes to the worst of the worst. Yeah. And Unlike history of Yu-Gi-Oh!, these games are unbalanced. You're going to see people die on the first turn. You're going to see combos that FTK out of nowhere. And I know for many viewers, that's just such a refreshing experience, given uh, our other series. <laughs> From modern Yu-Gi-Oh!, too, especially if they play in real life. Uh, this is also going to be fun, too, for the fact that... Uh, well, actually, we'll just, we'll just get into it. We'll get into it. Uh, yeah. I'm ready if you are, buddy. Uh, I will, okay, I'll, I'll guess how many fingers you're putting up. Uh, let's go, I don't know, buddy. Let's go even. It was even. I put up eight. Uh, I panicked. Okay. I, there was no reason for me to put up eight. <laughs> okay, that's disappointing. The fans are going to be very sad about that, but I'll be going first. I, I kind of don't want to be going first, if I'm being honest, but I guess it's better than getting blown up by deck dev. So good luck, buddy. Uh, let's see how we're going to fare with this one. Mm. And you know what? This one is... <laughs> This one's something. Uh, I will just go ahead and I'm going to set one and set a few back row and pass. Didn't you miss uh, being in a format with Heavy Storm? Uh, no. Uh, Nobleman. Woo! Ah, uh, it was my Mystic Tomato. Why would you do that? It's getting worse. Breaker. Oh, great. Uh, competent cards. Yeah, that's fine. Let's break this one. Buddy, I need you to not do that. I yeah. need those life points. <laughs> right, I need those 1,600 life points. Uh, I'm going to gravity bind. God, what, what are you buddying? <laughs> Oh, I should have waited. Okay. I wanted the life points. Yeah, it doesn't go to defense. It just can't attack. It's not level limit. All right. Go ahead, buddy. I've made the same mistake. Don't worry. I'll try. I think standby. Nope. Okay. Perfect. Uh, main one. Then I am just going to activate giant true nade. Awesome. Awesome. Yep. That's fine. But anyone's game, buddy. Uh, this true nade goes to the graveyard, actually. Uh, now I'm going to summon Cyberstye. Oh, Is that yeah, fine? That's, that's a pretty decent, that's a pretty decent one. Yep. Okay. I'm going to use my top deck Cyberstye and I'm going to activate the effect. I'm going to go ahead and summon a Cyber Twin Dragon. Yeah, that's fine. I, 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 th I feel okay about this one. Good. Then I've got Megamorph to equip to it as well. <laughs> All right. Did we make the ad revenue three minutes in? Okay. <laughs> right, we'll attack. You got we'll it. <laughs> buddy, buddy, what's going on there, buddy? Buddy, what was that about playing uh, uh, fair and unbalanced matchups in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh that are going to be like 90-10 most of the time? Uh, so a couple of problems with this one. First, um, what the fuck? Uh, second, do you even have any targets that I can deck dev? Yeah, because deck dev will kill like my whole deck. <laughs> oh, I see. All right. Well, I just have to draw it and I'm going to give myself... Yeah. An extra turn to draw it, and you an extra turn as well. To be fair, I mean, I top decked the Stein. So. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> that makes you feel better, right? It doesn't. It does not. Well, make sure you draw your card. Maybe you'll, that'll be your uh, deck dev to be able to just completely castrate my deck. <laughs> what are you talking about, buddy? It's your turn. Oh, I just realized you made me go first. Enjoy okay. your battle uh, phase, dork. Well, I mean, it was pretty good last time. I'll draw. Yep. Uh... Okay, well, this may look familiar to last time, uh, except it's not as good. I will set a few and pass the turn. Stand by main. Uh, let's go oh, good. one, two, three, and you are good to go. We'll draw. Stand by. Also fine. Main one. I'm going to knock your set. It's magical, merchant. <clears throat> okay, get them all out. Uh, I don't think this deck is playing merchant, actually. Uh, no, it's not. Well, I am playing three. You just got two in your deck? Oh, there's the third. Okay. Uh, I suppose I'll flip the boy up and avoid your knock, and we'll try to hit for 14. That's okay. Second main, uh, I will just pass the turn. All right, you're 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 up. Okay, looking good. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go ahead and true name. <laughs> I will activate Waboku. Okay, well, that's sure. You get a turn. That's fine. These go to hand. No damage. Uh, I guess I'll put the tomato to defense because then I the life points could matter for Stein, potentially. Uh, I will just set one and throw it to you. Draw for turn. Stand by main. Oh, God. Oh, good. Okay, let's go like this and back to you. All right, we'll draw. Main one, I suppose we're going for it. <laughs> I will pay cost. I will bring out Cyber tw uh, No, let's bring out Cyber End Dragon. This is much funnier. All right, Torrential. Fuck. All right, well, that was fun while it lasted. Oh, thank God. 
Then I will messenger of peace, and I will pass the turn. How do you win the game from this position? Do you do you have a way, buddy? I have ways. Don't I've worry. I've got buddy. you on the thirty turn clock. All right, we'll go to main one. I will set a card and throw it to you. Oh, take your hundred, buddy. It's a. It's oh, a sorry. Very yes, I have to pay cost. for messenger. Correct. The maintenance cost of messenger of peace so hefty. Uh, I don't know. Uh, go ahead. Draw. Stand by. I will pay. Do I want to pay an additional hundred? Hmm. Yeah, probably. I'll pay 100. Why are you allowed oh. to choose? That's so bullshit. The fact that it's not even mandatory, right? I know. It's ridiculous. Uh, okay. You know what? Let's just fuck it. Let's just flip Cyber Jar. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I will go first. Uh, let's go ahead and mill five. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, perfect. It's a morphing jar. Fantastic. And then I've got five as well. You do? Five monsters. Wow, that's crazy. I was about uh, to say, yours looked like a lot more monsters than mine did. This guy for sure. This so guy Lakuda, for sure. Reaper. This guy for sure. This guy Sanguine. for sure. What did you add to your hand? So I added uh, Dark Hole, which doesn't exactly line up well with yours. Mm -hmm. uh, Wave Motion Cannon. I believe it was another Messenger of Peace and a Gravity Bind. Okay. Sounds good to me. Those are my monsters. Okay. Those are all set. My morphing jar gets set as well. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of tempted to just dark hole this because you have four things on the field that I really don't want to deal with. All good. Uh, I'll trigger Sangam. Uh, we are going to go get a Reaper here. The last card you had was a Waboku, correct? Yep. I see. Uh, okay. Uh, we have not summoned. All we did was flip up Cyber Jar. I am going to set one, activate Wave Motion Cannon, and pass the turn. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, I'm going to Normal Spirit Reaper and attack. You fool. It is Peyton the Dark Cloud. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, I'm taking Take your 900, 900. Years. Yeah. All right. Uh, second main, I will I will set one. Okay. We'll draw. Stand by. I will put a counter on wave motion. I will also pay a hundred for messenger of peace for all the good that's doing. Wow. I can like actually almost kill you. Don't like hearing that. Nah. This is history of jank. Let's let's go ahead and do some stupid shit. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start with a true nade. Uh, Waboku. <laughs> okay. Well, that's why we did that first. Cool. So that's gone. Uh, I will reactivate the cannon. I will yeah. reactivate the messenger. Sure. I will set a card and I will pass it to you. Stand by main. This is not looking too hot. Didn't want me to have any fun. Oh, that's Ooh. nice. Uh, I will banish a reaper and a magician of faith Ooh, to yep. make Sork. And I'll prio Sork targeting Patton. Peyton's gone. No. Get him. Uh, this will get me. Yes. Take three. Let's go. We're racing. What are you going to uh, hit? Let me get this one. It is Megamorph. Oh, God. Well, that's not very helpful. All right. I will set this card and... Uh, oh, fuck it. Let's set this, too. Go ahead. You will draw. Stand yep, by. That's fine. Get a counter on the cannon. Go to main one. Take your hundred. Uh, yes. Yeah, sorry. I will take my hundred. Excuse me. Well, uh, that kind of removes my win condition plan now, unfortunately. I'm going to Megamorph your Reaper. Aww, boo. Yeah, we'll get him out of here. Uh, and then I'll just set one and throw it to you. Stand by main. Oh, perfect. All good. Very glad to see that. Uh, I don't know. What am I supposed to do here? I'm going to flip summon Magician of Faith with no targets. Perfect. Attack. It is uh, Mystic Tomato. 800. Second main, I'll smash. Yep. It's fine by me. I'm going to get there eventually. Go ahead. Uh, mm -hmm. Stand by. We'll pay 100. Put another counter on the cannon. Let's go. Main one. Uh, it's not looking too good. Looking too good. Why did I smash? I should have just sorked. <laughs> Could have sorked. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I guess in the end, didn't really matter all that much. Uh, yeah. I guess I will normal summon Cyberstock. Sure. I will hit Magician of Faith. <laughs> Mirror Force? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's I fine. guess. I just... uh, I'm, I'm good. Go ahead. All right. Stand by main. Oh, buddy. Can you win? You're so fucked. Oh, we're getting oh, there. Oh, fucking Kareem. We are, we're getting there, buddy. <laughs> oh, no. oh. 600. Yep. All right. I will set a card and you are good to go. We'll draw. Let's oh. go. It's going, it's baby. Going. No. <laughs> Deck down. Okay. So this is hilarious. And you're about to see why. You fool. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> 
Fantastic. Good luck deck devastation virusing me with no monster. What the fuck? You have swords? That's illegal. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, so I got deck dev. That's going to be up for three turns. I'm going to pay 100 here, I guess. And then I get another cannon, uh, ca a counter on the cannon. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. I can't out Karibo Magician of Faith. Gross. Uh, <laughs> you could you could premature burial the Cyberstein. And then we could see if we could race the. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm not going to lie. I'm thinking about the it. Messenger uh, clock. The other play is. Oh, actually, I can do this because tomato is 1,400, not Shit. 1,500, fun fact. Oh, so this can actually good. hit under. Uh, so let's hit the Magician of Faith. I'll take 11 here. I was thinking it was Gravity Bind because I have a Gravity Bind in my hand. Uh, then second main, I'm just... This is weird. I could fire cannon now and risk you just not having a way to kill me. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay, I'll take 3,000. I will pass, I guess. I mean, if you can kill me, you can kill me. I'm going to try it. Uh, snatch steal your tomato. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, combat? Uh... I have a gravity bind. Ah! <laughs> That's okay. We'll get in for three. I'll take the three. That puts me down to four. Oh, God damn it. This snatch steal. <laughs> uh, okay, I am going to... Normal a Zombira the Dark. You are good sure. to go. Sure, buddy, you're fucked. In five turns, I can Cyberstein again. That's true. <laughs> okay, so stand by. A few things are going to happen here. So I'm going to pay 100 for the Messenger, but then I'm going to gain 1,000 from the Snatch Steal. Correct. So Messenger is now permanently online. What's the uh, uh, The what's card the I got was Wave Motion. Awesome. <laughs> Great, okay. So we're going to fire that. Okay, how do I lose? I, I lose to Heavy Storm no matter what. That's always happening. Uh, um, heavy, Mobius, uh, I think that's it. I think just to have an insurance policy, I'm going to fire Swords of Revealing Light and pass the turn. Ooh, that is an interesting one. Uh, okay. It's not a good one, though. It's Sukiyomi. You got it. Oh, oh. yes, we did it. <laughs> Wow, that is that was atrocious. I, my, that was awful. Oh my deck god! Deck didn't do oh. anything. It did it. I mean, to be fair, you didn't go first any of these games. That's so true. let's do a game three. Yeah. You're obviously gonna go first, I imagine that time. Oh, yeah. Actually, I don't know. Maybe you don't want to go first because maybe you don't want to give me the battle phase. And let's let's see if you can deck dev me for my life because I think it's doable. Well, I don't know what to say. Uh, Cyberstein, very cool card. Happy it's legal. It's great, isn't it? Uh, I'm glad that, you know, Reaper format is so... Everyone's so happy about Reaper format when we introduce it to the world, Joseph. And then, you know, Cyberstein is a card that just makes the game so much fun. Uh, you're oh. going to be going first, I see. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Go ahead, buddy. Okay, no Zombira makes me feel pretty good, I would say. Uh, main one... True name. There's no fucking way you have it. There's no way you have it. Yeah, true name's fine. Stein. There's no. How are you this good at Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah, Stein's fine. Go for Stein. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll go for Stein if I can get into my extra deck. I am gonna go for Cyber and Dragon. Let's see it, buddy. I'm gonna go to battle. Oh, thank God. I'm gonna hit. Oh my God. Alex, is limiter removal legal? <laughs> It's Magical Monster Merchant. Monster gets flipped first, buddy. It's Magical Merchant. Would you like to perform damage, damage calculation? Step? Yep, yep. <laughs> I don't have it. You're oh, fine. thank God. Okay, I'm taking <laughs> 3,300. You're taking 3,300 from this. Yeah, you do get to trigger Merchant. So. Sure. Oh, that that would have been useful. <laughs> yeah, great, great time. Uh, I will hit you for another seven while I'm at it. Awesome. Why not? Uh, second main, I'm going to set two cards. Go ahead, buddy. Out my board. <laughs> All right, I have removal. I mean, smashing, I guess. Gee, okay, buddy. Which of these two is larger? Cyber and Dragon It's a close, it's a close one. Stein? It is a close one. That's fine. That's fine. Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm going to set one, two, three. Go ahead. Uh, sure. I'll draw. <laughs> Damn. Uh, main one. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll hit. Let's see what we're working with. It is Snipe Reaper. S Reaper. Okay, sure. Second main. That makes things interesting. I'm going to pass. Hmm. I'll normal summon DD Warrior Lady and try to attack. Got gravity bind. Sure. That's fine. We'll draw. Uh, not the card I wanted. Uh, okay. 
I'm going to throw this Stein to defense. Mm -hmm. I don't need to be taking any more damage from you if you can do something about it. Uh, I will just pass the turn. Stand by me. Uh, Mobius. Ooh, that's pretty good. Um, in response to Mobius, I will chain Poison of the Old Man. <laughs> oh, yeah? Which, uh, which mode are you picking here? Uh, tough call. I think I'm going to give my... Well, mm, so if I give myself 1,200, you're just going to knock me for 24, uh, which is a bit of a problem. So... I think the uh, correct answer here actually is to burn you, I guess. So I'll burn you for eight. <laughs> sure. Uh, smashing your monster. <laughs> oh, and we're dead here. All right. Perfect. <laughs> See, buddy. See, See it's fair. funny. I actually had messenger a piece and opted oh, not to use it. Oh, <laughs> you son of a gun. Oh, this was a, well, a catastrophe. Because I was thinking if I get another poison of the old man and I give myself enough life points, you then I would again. actually be able to stein you twice and I had Heavy Storm Megamorph to kill you. I hate this. Oh, so this is awful. This is awful. Poison? This was, Shit. Okay. This was a, a an atrocious uh, game, uh, but I think did really teach us a lot of lessons about Yu-Gi-Oh at this time. Um, did it, buddy? Yeah. Uh, firstly, uh, your deck is a great example of a deck that was not historically played in and around Reaper format, despite the fact that it was available. For some reason, everyone was just like, yeah, the best thing we can be doing is just making goats every format until the end of history. And so, like, yep. the year after goat format, people are still jamming decks like mine that are, like, sort of janky in that they have deck dev, but are mostly, like, 30 or 35 of the same cards. And there's some really good stuff waiting in the wings, things like Cyberstein that just break the game in half that no one was playing. And the second is just the general apathy the deck builders approached 2006 formats with. Like, can you believe this deck dev deck is like janky at all? This is the most boring deck we've ever done on History of Jank. It's so normal. Uh, yeah. And you uh, and I were. You and I were spending, like, just so much time prior to filming this figuring out, like, what possible considerations there were. And, like, the only other, like, realistic, plausible alternative that we had was a Magical Explosion FTK deck or, like, a Life Equalizer deck that's, like, cool. basically library FTK but just a different win condition than Reversal Quiz. And so, you know, we wanted to, you know, save the audience the tragedy of having to watch that another time. Yeah. <laughs> and so... This is the best we could find. <laughs> but this was really how people felt about Yu-Gi-Oh! back then, is they were like, you know, mathematically, we've beaten to death what the best possible cards in the game are, and the best thing you can do is to play as many of them as possible. And so you ended up with these decks that were just identical, and it got a nickname among the community, which was uh, Cookie Cutter Deck Building, where you're like, yeah, I'm playing, like, Strike Ninja, and then you throw three Strike Ninjas into a deck that's already 90% done. <laughs> You know, you're like, ooh, I'm playing deck dev. All right, three Zombira, two deck dev, 35 other Done. cards already printed. Um, yep. And those decks sort of started falling to stupid bullshit like your decks. It turns out uh, a very consistent deck that goes over the top of the, like, established metagame is way better than anything else you can be doing. I It, it really comes to pass in the next couple of years uh, when, you know, the jank starts coming from inside the house. Um, when people start figuring out that, oh, maybe we should be respecting these archetypes full of cards that we just, like, had written off because they don't, like, they aren't conducive to a chaos control style of gameplay and uh, really turns the game on its head. But uh, I think a lot of players around this time were just bored. They were bored of these cards. <laughs> What's funny, too, is that I was worried that because of the particular deck that you were playing, and I mentioned this in the beginning, if you establish deck dev, which is, I mean, a bit of an optimistic scenario, yeah. but if you deck dev me, like, you just cripple my entire win condition. And that has just, like, a slight edge over the other cookie-cutter strategies that we were looking at, where mm -hmm. everything else just 
literally folds to this deck almost entirely. It's like, yeah, there's Mobius, there's like Heavy Storm. There are blowouts that can keep you in the game. But for the most part, the majority, like 75, 80% of your deck just kind of folds to a Messenger of Peace, just yep. folds to a Gravity Bind, right? Yep. And then I can just take my sweet ass time trying to get all my combo pieces and just kill you in one fell swoop. Kind of like what happened in the first game, you know? And the, the shorter the game goes on, then the faster that that actually can get accomplished without having fear of, you know, Waboku or like these other things that may even come out of the side deck and the like, or you just having any way to just like completely flip the board on me at any point if you draw your Heavy Storm, right? If you draw Heavy Storm like on turn two, probably not going to kill me, but you'll at least remove me from the win condition via Stein. The one thing I will say, Joseph, is that I'm very disappointed that we didn't get to show off the most terrifying monster to ever grace the history of dual monsters, and that is Big Eye. Uh, coming out of my sideboard here, being able to look at the top five cards of my deck and put Stein on top. It's basically Pot of Prosperity for 2006. I don't know what people weren't thinking not playing this card. Doesn't Pot of Prosperity draw you a card? Shh, <laughs> buddy, it's 2006. We can't get too ahead of ourselves. I guess not. So guys, that's going to do it for another riveting episode of the History of Jank. We're glad you could join us. We have to shout out the patrons as always. So big shout outs to Shadow1317, Moto, Cameron Smith, Chaotic Beatball, Tim 0 x 3 Ike Iron, Frank Part 2, Pody Starkey, and Musa, Dan the Man, Hoban, Synchro Guy, Ole, Mystic Walk, Sylvia Wild, Stray, Conic, Useful Fast, and 05, Cole T, Rock Slide, Dolly Wop, Logan Thomas, Peter Gregory, Thomas Nelson, Jordan Coons, Kale Vin, Iron Blade, Twin, Pure Ace, Jesse Wood, True Nerd, Gazin, Brother Paul, Chris Hood, Nehru Celeste, David Lee, Rockway 325, Chat God, Sound Agent 216, Sky Rose, Dylan Hunter, John Two Base, Brody Eastwood, Day Sir, Elias Panero, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Give Me Speed Reuter, Give Me Death, Ashlyn Jensen, TC Gaming, Thanks for the Sleeves, Dad, Hots for Gage, Matthew Brady, Dr. Solace, Max, Tom Russell, Gage just played Watts already, Eric Grems, Wayan, and Talk Dirty to Me MBT. Thank you so much again for watching, and we will see you next time. <laughs>